Yeah, this uh, igloo cooler, the hinges broke pretty badly, no way to repair them, so I decided to print them, and they turned out perfect. It took only a couple iterations, um, you know, a lightweight test, and then a more secure test, like this, this could really work. And I decided to add a couple more holes just in case I want to add some more screws. And this design's neat because it's a print in place. You just print both halves all at the same time, and uh, it prints them like 0.6 millimeters apart, so they they're not really printing together. But it does. Uh, there's a little bit of over overlap on some of the the print filament, so you have to break them apart. You have to kind of break the the ones that are sticking. But it, it took a little bit of work. You kind of work top and bottom, front and back, and both you know all the hinges I printed kind of the same effort and then once it snaps it breaks free and starts to work but it's still pretty tight tolerance and I was really impressed with that to uh, make it a little smoother not that it was needed but I added a little silicone oil and that just really made them uh, really smooth so I don't know if you had an application where you needed smooth hinges um, you know with a cooler who really cares it's not, it's not gonna really matter but in this case, I was pretty impressed at how smooth these hinges are. And uh, someone else mentioned the hinges can work in water and rain and all that. So, I mean, it, 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 the oil doesn't matter for the rain, but uh, the fact that these uh, will never rust or anything is pretty cool. And if you're curious about how I designed it, I'll do a quick overview. I used a tool called Tinkercad. It's free online. It's a fun, great little tool. Lots of drag and drop and easy to, to use. The dimensions of the hinge already existed, so I pretty much just copied those in terms of hole location and so forth. Now this is a print in place. And there are two separate pieces and you can see even through the um, bottom here there's a slight gap and there's a gap between all of the um, pivots, the little cylinders, each cylinder has a cone that's been mated to it. And so to design it, you have to build the cones uh, and then you also have to, um, you know, subtract the space for that cone in the, in the mating part. And I just had the cones facing inward towards each other. I don't think that really matters, but I just, I don't know, for symmetry, symmetry sake, I did it that way. I'll show you how I did this in reverse, meaning it's already built, but I'll go backwards so you can see in reverse what I did, and that'll give you an idea how I built it. I had to subtract out for the screw holes and the screw heads and provide some clearance there. That's all those are. The cylinder slash cones, those need to be created on their own and then you create a, a negative space in the back there and so each one's got a positive nose and then a negative tail and you kind of join those together and then on the opposing piece there needs to be a bit of a cutout so they don't touch each other so you gotta maintain that um, space that small tiny space around there usually 0.6 millimeter at least that's what I'm finding works and um, so I created all of these cone cylinders by themselves and then all the matching cutout spaces by themselves. And so then it just becomes a matter of subtracting and combining to, to get the final, the final product. So looking from the side view, there's a wedge that runs the full length of the hinge, very basic shape, and then underneath that is just a box those two make up the foundation of the hinge and then the cylinders that you subtract out you select each of those a little extra space you subtract it from that wedge and box and then you slowly join the cylinder cones into the you know you merge them with the box and then of course the cutouts for the screws I found that it was interesting, um, the order of operations, but once you get that figured out, then it goes pretty quickly. And that is how I designed the hinge. So the whole thing worked out pretty good. It only took a couple test prints, and the hinge mounted to the cooler just fine, and hopefully it will last a long time. Maybe you can find an application for these hinges somewhere else as well. Thank you.